Yeah, you've probably become numb to surveillance video of crime. We, we have as well. This video, as you can tell, though, is a little bit different. It's new video from the Charlotte Police Department in North Carolina. A broad daylight shootout. Young men with semi-automatic rifles settling scores like it is the Wild West. You're right. The reason we become numb to it is because it's commonplace. This is video from Philadelphia. Two men dressed head to toe in black ran up also with rifles and shot and killed a man who was pumping gas. They ran back to their car. Young black men are 21 times more likely to be shot and killed than whites. It's now the leading cause of death for young black men. And those numbers are from 2020. It has gotten worse. Something else that has gotten worse, inflation and the immigration crisis. Here's President Biden today on crime. To every governor, every mayor, every county official, the need is clear. My message is clear. <clears throat> Spend this money now that you have. Use these funds we made available to you to prioritize <clears throat> public safety. Do it quickly before the summer when crime rates typically surge. They will surge this summer, but there's kind of a bigger problem right now. Nobody wants to be a cop. Departments from Atlanta to Chicago, Minneapolis to New York report hundreds of officers that they have room for, hundreds of openings, open jobs, but no qualified applicants. Think about what would solve that for a second. Think about that and now consider the latest Pew poll of America's biggest problems, inflation. 93% say violent crime, big problem. 88% say violent crime is a big problem. 93% was for inflation. Gun violence, 76%. For illegal immigration, 64% say it's a big problem. All of those, of course, are not Mr. Biden's fault. We've talked about this, but they are his problem. He's at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. And some of the most obvious solutions on each issue are in direct opposition to the progressive left. For example, a massive push for domestic energy production could drop gas prices and oil prices, thus cutting inflation off at the knees. But in a nod to environmentalists, the administration just canceled offshore lease sales in the Gulf of Mexico and in Alaska. Corey Feige the commissioner of Alaska's Department of Natural Resources. She is with us in a minute on inflation, crime, and the border. The most obvious solutions on each issue are in direct opposition to the progressive left. Niall Standage, White House columnist with our partners at the Hill. Uh, Niall, the White House obviously knows everything that I just said. Uh, what is the hold that the progressive left still has on this administration? Well, I mean, the administration would push back on that whole notion that the progressive left has a hold on them. Uh, President Biden, when he was a candidate, ran against the big champions of the progressive left. And I think you could argue that this year he's actually shifted somewhat more toward the center, talking, for example, in his State of the Union address about funding the police. Sure. Now, if you're talking about tensions within the Democratic Party, then yes, those clearly exist and they're clearly pretty fierce. Uh, Joe Biden and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez do not believe the same things in a, on a whole range of issues. So those tensions certainly exist. What would it take, if anything, in, in from the White House's perspective to sort of radically change their policies and move farther towards the center, especially on oil and gas and on immigration, if anything? Well, on oil and gas, I mean, their argument is that there are a lot of leases for new drilling that have not been used yet. And the instance of the sale that you mentioned in your introduction, they say was cancelled for a lack of industry interest. I'm not enough of a petroleum expert to know whether that is true or not. But on immigration, I mean, it's interesting the fact that the Biden administration keeps talking about uh, ending Title 42. Obviously, that's tied up in the courts a lot at the moment, but there is clearly concern within the administration about ending up in what is perceived to be too weak a stance on immigration. I think there is an awareness of the political dangers in that. In fairness, a lot of these problems are not the White House's making. Uh, they are his responsibility. Voters end up holding the president responsible, whether it's fair uh, or not. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.